Well, they, uh, I should probably have watered this too. <laughs> oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had planted these uh, onions yesterday. Turns out there's around 14 onions in each one of those cells. Well, I only planted three of them. And that took a little while just doing that. And uh, I still have, well, three cells there. And six more, I guess that's nine. So I still got quite a few to plant. It's going to be a lot of uh, onions. I don't know, it'll take me to here somewhere. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of onions. I'm also going to have to have some place to walk through too. But anyhow, that's uh, that'll have onions there. And uh, I haven't. Uh, haven't done anything here yet. My son came out and gave me a hand over here. And we got this much done. I had shown, I think probably right to there, that I had done by myself. And then my, my son Cody came out and between him and I, we, uh, we brought her out to here. I'm not quite sure. I still got quite a few potatoes left that I could probably plant the whole thing, but I guess the question comes how many tomato or potatoes do you actually need? Because there's four per row. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen rows. That's uh, it's quite a few potatoes, and the big thing with me is it's not just the potatoes; it's digging them all up at the end of the season. It ends up being a lot of digging. We oh, there's a bird over there. I was wondering what the uh, that sound was. He's just scratching around looking for something. So, uh, I guess back to the uh, earth augers. That earth auger right there works pretty good. I think that's three inch. I had another one before. And that's two and a half inch and that's one and a half inches. Now I don't know exactly what you'd use the one and a half inch for. Maybe bulbs or something. I, I suppose. Uh, anyhow, um, so I was using a three inch and it seems pretty good for these potatoes. They're only small. I saved these uh, seed, what you'd call a seed potato that are just a small potato. Uh, the small ones, I, I kept them, but I should have kept them a little they were just down in the basement, but they still sprout down in my basement. Which is usually even in even in the winter time it's in the cold room. I'd say it's 12 degrees, but they still sprout. For some reason, I don't know why, but they do. And as you can see they they sprout quite well. I'd actually rather them not sprout this much but anyway it's got a good start on them I don't know if the <coughs> nights they go down to six degrees will it'll probably stunt them for a while they usually don't really start growing till into June it's only halfway through uh, May right now I don't know the crows seem to be barking away but uh, yeah, not doing a real good progress here on the garden. Not as good as I'd like to have done by now, but 
I still have lots of time. It doesn't really start getting warm here till June. So I still have lots of time. I'm just uh, trying to get a little ahead of the game. Cheers.